Ramble. Thank you to BetterHelp for sponsoring today's episode. Bella, where the hell have you been, Loka? <laughs> Welcome to Guilty Pleasures. We're oh, doing it, people. Offensive. We're back uh, for Twilight offensive. New uh, Moon. New oh, moon. King of the Wigs. AKA Let's, Kristen no. Stewart discovers adrenaline. Yes, she does. Hell yeah. Uh, we began this season with Twilight. <gasps> we we are, did? We are Yeah. That was oh, our, that episode was our first number episode? one. Episode. Yeah, episode. baby. And we are we are here in the final two episodes of the year. What you guys are being too adorable. Horrible oh, right no. sorry. I kind of want to go sit on the couch with you. <laughs> with your little cozy sweater. <laughs> Should yeah. we just snuggle? No, yeah, we okay. stay over there. Okay, all right. <laughs> wow. They're aggressive. This is the final two episodes of the season. What? Yeah. This is this is it. We're gonna be taking, just so you guys know, a hiatus <gasps> in January. Hiatus. What? What is a hiatus? Hiatus. What does that hiatus. mean? It means we're gonna piece the fuck out and not Aww. do any work for a little bit. No, you're gonna be doing a lot of work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just yeah. Not You've never work. stopped working since I've yeah. met you. Yeah. I actually, I'm looking forward to the vacation so that I can get some work done. Okay. <laughs> That's really. Oh, no. Oh man. So like, we're just gonna like have no episodes all of Jan- January. That's the plan. Yeah. Wow. That's the anthem. Get your damn hands up. Do you think people will come back? They <laughs> better. I for hope season so. two. But also, it doesn't matter because we're clearly not doing this for anyone else. Except <laughs> yeah, for right. Exactly. Just do reruns. We Let's just, just love do reruns. the sound of our own voices. Yeah, why not? This... Reruns of the podcast? Yeah. Or... Okay. Reruns of the podcast. That's a good idea. Should we just re-release episodes that yeah. we thought didn't get enough views? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> why does podcast do that? Justice for Crossroads. Right. Yeah. We'll oh. Do... I don't know. <laughs> 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 Did it do enough? Uh, but today we are talking about Twilight New Moon, the second <laughs> installment. Why? Why is just that phrase funny? It's just. It's just so. I just said the funny. title. It's just the title. New moon. Why wasn't it called Twilight Your Own Son or something like that? <laughs> like he, 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 she called him a son, right? I who? You're, you're, she called Jacob a son. I think. I don't recall that part. Y- you are revealing something that bothered me, which is that I don't think that moons play any part oh wait it's because the moons werewolf. make the werewolf go. They, the fucking oh i didn't yeah. i just got that yeah but but that's not in the movie but that's no, not in the movie, movie because they play fast and loose with lore it's that about all, her period, all of you humanity guys. has lived through it's about her period oh it's about her period. It? okay well i have a lot of metaphors me. that i want to get into so i can't wait to hear that one <laughs> Uh, just, you just dribbled water on yourself? Great. I didn't feel it because I don't have feeling <laughs> at the bottom of my face. <laughs> and I thought my mouth was on it and it just dribbled all down my shirt. This is going to be a fun one. Uh, we have a uh, renowned twi hard Alexandria Herring is going to be joining us in the second half Hilarious. of this episode. Uh, I think she's going to have some questions or we'll have some questions. That we'll have answering. a lot of questions. I hope I don't make her cry. <laughs> But Twilight New Moon t- picks up where the last movie left off. Bella Swan is turning 18 years old. Ooh. She is hopelessly in love Legal. with this sexy, sexy vampire, mm. Edward Cullen. But mm. oh, Daddy what's Cullen. this? At Bella's birthday party, a drop of blood sends the vampires into a craze. <gasps> and Edward decides that he must break up with Bella to protect her. Yes. Yeah. Oh, shit. But here comes Jacob. <laughs> he's 16 years old Ew. and he's hot now. Yeah. Yeah. He's she's fucking 18. sexy now. Oh, no. Every Two years down. Oh, oh no. my God. He put on some muscle and he can lift motorcycles he with daddy. his bare arms. Yeah. He's also a werewolf. Oh my Bella God. finds Ruh-ro. herself in a <laughs> little love triangle. She tries to unlife herself a bunch because that's <laughs> where adrenaline comes from and she's seeing ghost visions of Edward. That's confusing. Yep. Then there's a secret society called the Volteri. Mm. If you think there's a lot of plot that I just talked about, that's because there, there is. is. Let's get the fuck into it. This is yeah. Twilight New Moon. Do, 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 Guys, this is my new favorite yeah, movie. Wrong song. Wrong oh, song. Okay, we're not talking uh, about it. I, I need to state this loud and clear. Okay. Yeah. This is my new favorite movie. Okay. What? I... I've never seen this before. Yeah. More than Drag Me to Hell? Th- don't you dare. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this movie is the perfect amount of of insanity and 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 acting ineptitude yeah. and just like just things it is so funny. Yeah. It is so funny in ways that I don't know that it, it means to be funny and I co- I had a blast. It feels like watching a school play. <laughs> and that, it, in in all of the worst and best ways. It, it, like I I just loved like sitting there and being like, oh, this is a nice, again, wig. This is a nice uh, performance. Uh, look at these strings that are pulling people through the air. That's crazy. 
Uh, well, so yeah. you, and you both had not seen it before. Never seen it before. I saw Why? the first Twilight in theaters. Yes. My sister brought me. We yes. t- I believe we talked about this last time. Yep. And I fucking hated it. And then oh. I was like, you know, when this came out, what? I was in high school or I was a college freshman, sophomore. And I'm mm-hmm. like, eh, I'm not going to watch that. Right. Not even movie. out of like comedic effect. Not even to like be a part of the zeitgeist. No, and I regret it immensely. I was wrong. Mm-hmm. I want to go back in time. Yeah. And, slap and, the and slap shit out of little sack. Yeah. And say, like, Miles, did I love or hate the first Twilight? Okay, good because I fucking loved this one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I eat this shit like it's oh man, it's the same da, 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 da. movie. It's the same thing. Uh, oh, but it's so still. much more. It's I, so okay. much deeper. Okay, I feel like they were just like let's just double down mm-hmm. on everything and mm-hmm. like make it throw a little bit more budget mm-hmm. into this and then just do it with more werewolves. abs, more abs, more twinkling. I I want to know what kind of uh, regiment Taylor Lautner was on. What's he up to? I, I think he's just, just shark boy all over the place. Shark. Boy. Yeah, he was Shark, shark Boy and Lava Girl. That was, that was before that was, Yeah, what the fuck are you talking about? I well, let's ca- can, I, can I launch into Please. my first pleasure? Yeah. And yeah. it's an absolute pledge. Yeah. Uh, it's because it does say, let's do the first movie over again. Yeah. But they mm-hmm. said, instead of doing it with the mysterious, hot Robert Pattinson, let's do it with the <laughs> uncharismatic, okay. not great at acting Taylor Lautner. <gasps> okay. It is... What? It not is great? He is. There are some. There are some line reads where I'm just like, buddy. Do you? Okay. I'm, he's like. He's, I think that Taylor Lautner in this movie, and I don't mean to be mean, but there's really no way to tiptoe around this. And I'm sorry. Hello, Twihards. Welcome to the podcast. I don't mean to be dunking on your movie right out the gate. I loved it. I fucking loved it. I feel he like Twihards are old enough to understand. They get it. That yeah. That- I- my pleasure yeah. is that I think he is the least sexy character ever put to screen. Oh my. I, I think that he is like. Did you see when his shirt was off in the rain? That looks yeah. good. Did you see when he became a wolf and shredded his shredded jean yeah. shorts? My yeah. poor man was the wearing hole. the wiggiest of wigs oh, the for wig the wig. first 40 minutes. so fucking crazy. I was it wondering was, how far we'd get in without bringing up the no, wig. We but can't. It, it's like it was immediate. It's yeah. immediate. Because like I was, I, I remember that in this movie, his hair is short and mm-hmm. I was like oh okay so when is this gonna happen no, yeah, it takes and he a comes minute. in with that fucking wig on yeah. his head looking like a weird Native American teacher. Rastafari <laughs> <laughs> like Hawaii oh, right n- yeah. like Hawaii yeah, like Hawaii yeah. like Hawaii surfer. like surfer and yeah. I'm like yo this is Seattle yeah. what the fuck is happening why is his hair this long what's uh-huh. going up uh, what's going on up top yeah i normally don't notice wigs like like oh, zach no, with noticing yeah. outfits or i'm just mm-hmm. like watching and i'm like okay well i know that this is very bad mm-hmm. when i notice it mm. this was such a bad wig it stops you in your track yeah truly and it just goes to show how much hair <laughs> plays a part in someone's oh yeah the believability I, I mean it's what i say about eyebrows like why do you think they, i spent all this money on this yeah. <laughs> yeah. throw you, all you, the money all at of it. you Fuck if it. you all would just let me fill in your eyebrows you would become tens i hate to break it to you you're all sitting at a 9.5 right now hey, that's I, better I than I said because you're not having your eyebrows Kelsey, done i can can we do this during the podcast? Literally can you come do it right to. now? Or <laughs> maybe I got a pen. <laughs> uh, it is so unfortunate too because they play out. You are right. Once yeah. he cuts his hair and you get to see him Ooh. without his shirt, you're like, Taylor, Damn, 16, 16 year old looks 16? good on you. 16. <laughs> Why are your eyes so close together? <laughs> I'm sorry, but damn, 16. Damn. God. But like, damn. they play out the majority of their love story yeah. when he- Has long hair? Ha- first of all, has a shirt on uh, yeah. and just has this really bad haircut. Right. Yeah. But what gets me is that after he is physically just a hot specimen, yeah. Yeah. right? But he is a Dorcas. Yeah. <laughs> like okay, when yeah. you hear him talk, when you watch him move, when you yeah. see him yeah. try and be intimidating, no, I right. ain't believing it. I'm not no. believing I any of it. I want to cuddle him. Yeah, yeah. They should have just get on the ground. Le- Let me lay with they you. They should have just leaned into that. If yeah. like, like, as soon as they saw him and saw him be like dweeby, like, oh yeah, I love fucking mechanics <laughs> and all that stuff. Yeah, just okay, be- fucking tuner McGee. I, over I, know, here. I know. So that's what I'm saying. Lean into that shit. And that's Garrick's all- adorable as fuck. I, right. You just gotta be adorable. Right. It's an adorable. Garrick is equally be- as ripped as Taylor Lautner under that sweater. Listen, but he- that is true, all. folks. What you don't know here, sitting next to me, is a cement fucking no, wall. This man, this man, like joking. 
jokingly <laughs> ran into me and I shattered the glass no, ceiling. That's not true. I literally that's fell not into glass and it shattered. It's, it's gonna cost a lot of money for the try guys to replace there's this. Literally wall. no glass You're on the floor. So and me and Zach, I'll never forget when we were doing the shoot for this podcast yeah. and we were shooting the Twilight like, ripoff oh, new moon. We were like, yeah. oh fuck. Zach Garrett's walks hot. over and he's like, Has Garrick always been <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, I have no idea. No, the man's man. only been wearing sweaters. You got to wear sweaters. Why are you Why? hiding it? You have to. Why? Do you have your shirt off in your new series? Yeah. <gasps> oh! When's the premiere date? <laughs> When's that coming out? January 20th. Oh! If you don't think I'm gonna make a fucking shirt with your abs on it and wear it to the premiere. Now, Garrick, you're you shirtless wrong. wearing a chain? Please be wearing. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> Please wear Let's chain. fucking go. <laughs> fucking little ch Okay. Yeah. I'm so sorry. Where were we? Taylor Lautner's Taylor not Lautner. hot. Taylor, okay, Taylor, Taylor, but Taylor Lautner thing. is hot. Though. Have you guys ever experienced, especially as guys I'm interested, when you're dorky doofus the next door neighbor boy right. <laughs> gets fucking abs and cuts his hair off and yeah. you're like right oh no this it's is like, bad for yeah. everyone but like i i didn't appreciate how unattracted she was to him mm. he shouldn't have had to work that hard. once his shirt was off yeah, was, and he cut <laughs> his hair in. it's just like yo i could have just he could have just walked in and be no a dork. but she was also heartbroken when she met him she was on True. the mend he filled a very special space True. in her heart did, i understand did, did you have a friend's little brother oh, that my, became like not a friend's little brother it was just a, yeah it was a guy that i was friends with who yeah. like shot up over the summer went to base baseball camp he got fucking yoked and he got his braces off and i was like put your dick in my mouth <laughs> why i was nice. like what the fuck nice and good for little reggie he was still so fucking nerdy and yeah. doofy and if like someone all shouted these... that at me i would freak <laughs> out yeah, yeah i would be scared I, I, like, and it... then we made the mistake of hooking up oh yeah. boy and it ruined our friendship yeah, yeah. and it ruined because it was bad yeah did you guys have that i mean of course you did women in high school it's so confusing oh, yeah. yeah but once again you have to remember that we were you not guys were not Right, in high right, school, right. You both so were exactly. lames. I forgot. Yeah. Okay, yeah. We we were the Minkus and we stayed the Minkus. Yeah. I, I definitely had a glow up moment. Like oh, I nice. went from being Megan's little sister to like, oh, yeah. she got an ass. I'll never forget. <laughs> like the guys being like, whatever you're doing, keep doing it. And I was like, am I the clitoris? Like, am I? It was a big Call back to me. Try Guys. Yeah. Yes, nice. Watch it. The but thing then you got Edward Cullen standing next to Taylor Lautner. Well, right. The okay. two of them, that's not fair. You so just put a grown man... Yeah. In high school. A 109 year old. And he has a fucking happy trail. I thought that Jacob was like killing him off. Like I'm <gasps> full on team, you were team Jacob. Team Jacob, <gasps> yeah. I thought he made him look pasty and weird. It, 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 <laughs> I mean, he does. <laughs> I thought it. He, he Jacob made Robert Pattinson look like he didn't want to be there <laughs> more if that makes sense yeah. no, I feel so where he's just like you. man i want to be a real fucking actor i want to be the batman but nobody wants to give me the opportunity look at my performances i'm really good at this i have to keep on doing this twilight shit all right whatever let me just be a ghost or some shit <laughs> and then he finally gets the role in good time and now he gets to be the batman yeah, and there you go batman. now he's fucking fit he's phenomenal to close the loop on taylor and then then let's move on to to mr why i want to talk about okay. abs forever <laughs> well, I, I think the biggest problem that made him unhot is that he, as an actor, was trying, was trying to, to do be, what yeah. Robert Pattinson yeah. did. Right. He was trying to stare did he try and look whisper right. like this. But that's like that's not your, right. your asset. You can't no. pull that off. When I, he fucking rode a motorcycle, yeah. Yeah. that was like supposed to be his Tom Cruise moment. He looked like me riding he, a motorcycle. Yeah, like a <laughs> because of the fucking wig, the fucking dumbass wig that was on his head. Oh yeah, he looked ridiculous. Yeah, it's a it's. Yeah, again, um, to place that next to Edward Cullen, who, again, when he ha makes his debut in this series, he's coming, <laughs> walking in through high school, and he comes around the corner, and I'm just like, that's a 20-something-year-old yeah, man. It's a man. Do you remember Edward's reveal in this movie? Yeah. It's I my- just, it's, I just said it. Oh. What'd you, what? How are you going to describe it? Slow motion, <laughs> yeah. rock and roll. It is just pure <laughs> camp. It yeah. is- such a glorious moment of cinema. Mm -hmm. Right. But my favorite pleasure of this movie is anytime Bella, Kristen Stewart, has to kiss someone. Oh, because my God. Those tiny little worm lips. Yeah. Oh, really just go for the 
they go for the chin every time. It is every time. <laughs> that's, so that's, first, that's, oh, fuck. I, it was driving me crazy, but in a way that is an absolute pleasure because I've never seen anything like this yeah. in, yeah. in uh -huh. anything. It is orgasmic. There are so many near Noises. kisses where, yeah. where they get they get close to each other and then both parties go shit. Uh -huh. Yeah, right, right, and right. And it's like literally when she's- Because they were teenagers, they yeah, come in their pants. That's they what it fucking felt like. come in their pants. They come that's in their pants. That's what it felt like. Do you guys not remember? Because you were too old by the time you that's got true. laid that that's what that shit felt like when you were 16. That's, you were that's like, very oh, true. Like, oh my God, yeah. I'm going to throw up. But then, I mean, that is a, a, a pleasure in life where yeah. you, you, you have sex late and so you never have to- uh, coming your pants. <laughs> <laughs> no, but the, the the truth of that is that also, and I don't know if you guys remember this because it's from the books and I don't think they do a good job explaining it, but Edward can't get too aroused by Bella because then he'll tear her to shreds. Yeah, uh-huh. Right. So, so hot. He, like literally but it can, pains him to, to kiss it, her and you it. can tell it mm. does. See, that's Robert Pattinson being a fucking actor, actor. because he's he read the book he knew the source material mm -hmm. and he was just like, I'm going to pull this the fuck off. But I have a scene partner that makes it look like I'm coming in, in my, my pants. pants. <laughs> <laughs> she was doing a lot of pants coming. I yeah, feel like this yeah. episode. So, By the does, way, look yeah. at them now. He's going to be the fucking Batman. Right. She's going to get nominated for an Oscar. Oh, yeah. Like, What's wow. Taylor Lautner up to? Hey, I think it's just chilling, man. I think <sighs> sometimes people just don't want to act anymore. You think? Yeah. I don't know. Didn't he date Taylor Swift? Yeah, yeah, that was yeah, a big yeah. deal, huh? Uh, There's a lot standing in the way of mental health. Uh, I've been having pain flare-ups. That's frustrating. Which is why I use, which is why I love BetterHelp. BetterHelp will assess your needs and match you with your own licensed professional therapist. You get to connect in a safe and private online environment. And it's so convenient. You can start communicating in under 48 hours. Look, my life is busy and it is really hard for me to keep appointments. If I need to change, my therapist is flexible. BetterHelp is committed to facilitating great therapeutic matches. So they make it easy and free to change counselors if needed. Licensed professional counselors who are specialized in depression, anger, stress, anxiety, LGBT matters, relationships, and so much more. And of course, anything you share is confidential. So many people are using BetterHelp. They're recruiting additional counselors in all 50 states. We want you to start living a happier life today. As a listener, you'll get 10% off your first month by visiting our sponsor at betterhelp.com slash guilty pleasures. Join over 1 million people who have taken charge of their mental health. Betterhelp.com slash guilty pleasures. I, th I thought there were moments of this movie that genuinely slapped. Like the opening was like kind of felt surrealist. Mm -hmm. I thought it was going to be like, um, uh, like a don't look now moment. I was like, oh, this is like mm -hmm. kind of like cool Italian filmmaking. Totally abandoned that. Yeah. yeah but yeah. then uh, the action scenes like. Yeah. Kind of so, cool. The yeah. family fight scene of Bella's 18th birthday where she gets a paper cut <laughs> and the blood <laughs> drops on the floor. Yo, and hilarious. The family Great impression. That was breaks good. out into yeah, a, a fight. And frenzy. I was like, fuck yes. I did not expect it. Even though I've seen this movie so many fucking times, I was like, I appreciate the twists and turns and the action. Yeah, I screamed. Biggest, That's my Batman. Yeah. yeah the biggest, can fight, man. biggest pleasure is when uh, Jacob first turns into a fucking oh. big dog. Pretty did you sick. see it coming? I did not. I did not. I and when you well, say, of course did I, 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 yes, I did. I'm you sorry. Knew he's a wolf. I knew he's a wolf. Did, yeah. When you say, did I see it coming? Did I see it coming that he was going to turn into a 50 foot wolf? Yeah, <laughs> or or a werewolf person? Because yeah. I thought it was going to be a werewolf oh, person, okay. but no, it's just giant wolves. The biggest yeah. wolf, but like werewolf bigger is. than a bear. It doesn't. Oh even no, they're me. like they're like humongous. It, yeah. Where in the history it of doesn't. any werewolf lore is that it what it is? It doesn't. Well, do you remember in a Harry Potter, Prisoner of Azkaban, the first Different time we franchise. get to see? I yeah. know, but you remember the first time we get to see Professor What's His Nuts? I don't. As thank you, Lupin as a werewolf. He's fucking huge. Yeah, he's with? like two stories tall. Why it's like it. it because your little I'm brains sorry. are just preoccupied with wolves in general. <laughs> like you can't no. break outside of the idea that wolves could be more. Wolves are a spectrum. Yeah. <laughs> no, like, I mean I watch dogs. I watch fucking Princess Minoke. I know that they're oh, fucking huge. I know it. it's fine, but no. Okay. <laughs> no. Okay. They are they walk on hind legs and they only come out at night. <laughs> It's the bullshit. Mouth. That's the whole reason Fucking why they, a, you're right. they fight each other is because they come out at full night, uh, full full moons and vampires come out at night all the time and they do the same shit. So, of course, there would be some territorial situations there. Oh. But no, 
No, right. they just took the lore and they just wiped their fucking weird ass with it. Wow. And then oh just God. threw it out. And then you wiped like right. a girl. Yeah, you wipe from the front. Wipe you wipe through, through the middle from the front? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you, and you wipe the forward way. or wipe back? I no, wipe you gotta wipe back. Forward. <gasps> oh, you did it wrong. You would have given us a UTI. Yeah, yeah. you can't. Girls we can't gotta do that. Go forward. I go around and I always kind of sit on my left cheek. I can't do I that. I lean up. I can't do that. I, I go I straight a, through the middle and I pull them up, pull the, wow. pull the shit up. Well, first of oh, all, so it's a two hand situation. It's a two hand situation. First of all, I use a bidet. I have ah, class. Hey, my man. man. A so, classy uh, boy. I Damn use right you do. I knew we were friends for a reason. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Boy. yeah. I also Get to, uh, 25% off with <laughs> cold, <laughs> guilty horse. Cold, cold guilty horse. But yeah, I, I, I yeah, uh, okay. just wiping water off essentially. All what right. are we talking Pat about? Try. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I literally tried I could, to bring it back to whatever sentence you were finishing. And I, I can't just, recall. I can't believe I didn't even realize oh, that, Lord. that they just fucked the lore of werewolves. Yeah. Totally. Cause yeah, yeah they don't come out. At, wow. And yeah. they fucked it in the first one where vampire. vampires could be out during the day. During the day. Well, yeah. but they're sparkly. <laughs> yeah. They're sparkly in the sun. And they don't need to be invited in. Right. Yeah. No, yeah. no they yeah. don't. They can shit. see their reflections all kinds yeah. of fast and loose. Unless they can't. Can I give a pleasure? Please. Go for it. I, I didn't say, can I just say, um, <laughs> which has become a guilt of mine. Uh, I thought they did what a breakup feels like really Oh, well. really? Hmm. So should they do this shot where they go around her in a 360 where the window changes. Oh, I did seasons. like that sequence. That, that was is great. cinema. Come that on, guys. That was great. That was cinema. Yeah, so she's sitting there and it's like October, yeah. November, November, December. I was like, that's sick. All the way to spring. He fucking left her. And that shit fucking hurts. It's ugh, nothing has ever hurt more than a breakup ever. Mm, ever. And I live with chronic pain. <laughs> that's, have. that's me, but watching forgetting Sarah Marshall. <laughs> so I watch it co consistently that's for the months. Second time you reference that. That's your breakup. Movie. That's my breakup movie. Okay. Yeah. But that's what it feels like. I have many problems with how they portrayed like relationships in this franchise, yeah, but that is a moment where I'm like, yeah, that the, the intensity right. of youth breakups. I, I, they, oh. They got that. And yeah. then to find your friendship again with another guy that you're like, maybe I kind of want to fuck. This is hot. Even though I'm 18 and it's illegal now and there's like predatory behavior, I'm going to oh. go ahead and keep flirting with him. Oh, it is. You is didn't it think illegal? about it. Did you? I did not I think about that. In Seattle. But then he <laughs> fucking- I'm sorry. If it's illegal to slowly put your lips towards someone and go, uh, then I don't want to <laughs> live in a group land <laughs> of laws. Guilty yeah. as charged. True. Um, but then here's what I'm you guys don't realize. I'm going to Mexico. Then <laughs> fucking Jacob <laughs> abandoned her yeah. to go be a wolf. So she's been abandoned twice he, in one also, semester. It literally goes, I promise I'll never leave. He immediately, immediately leaves. leaves. You don't want to be around me anymore. And it's like <laughs> this girl is fucking getting her major male relationships torn out from underneath her in the most traumatic of ways. It's no wonder she's got problems when she comes back and she's fucking sucking on Edward's butthole for the rest of the series yeah. because she's got separation anxiety, man. You know, you know what was a, a missed opportunity? Mm. Since he can't get cold and he's always warm, if it was raining, he should be steaming all the time. That's oh, sick. that'd be cool. Yeah, that'd have been I sick. I thought about that. I, asked, I wrote down this question because I'm curious for you. Would you rather fuck someone who is always cold or always hot? Always hot. Jared's always hot. I call my, his nickname is my furnace. Sick. Nice. It's like, it's very nice. That's I run right. cold. My extremities right. are oh, freezing yeah. at all times. Feel my fingers. Because there was that moment in Ooh, 50, right? there very was that cold. moment in 50 Shades where he put the ice cube in his mouth. I remember it. No, I yeah. don't. So I was like, Would oh, you guys maybe. rather fuck a cold girl or a hot girl? <laughs> no, hot girl. A hundred percent. Cold girl? <laughs> right? I don't even know why you asked that question. <laughs> 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 if I'm being honest, it's like, the answer is hot. <laughs> the way you said that. I don't know why you even asked that question. <laughs> but I forgot, like, the number one thing that guys say about pussies is that they're warm. warm. Yeah, that makes sense. Which, it, yeah. like, girls are never thinking about. You're literally inside of our internal body temperatures, which is, like, running at 98 degrees. You're instantly sticking your dick in a jacuzzi every time you have sex. Yeah. <laughs> It's a great time. That's not fair. We it's, don't get that. No. Sometimes y'all's dicks are cold. Oh, I mean, I usually have a warmer <laughs> on mine at all times. A little hat? I have a, yeah. I have a little hat. Before any coitus, I go. <laughs> 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 yeah. Like just sticks like yeah, you're dude. making a fire. Yeah, Got yeah, it. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, can we talk uh, about uh, Ghost Edward in this movie? Oh, so Edward. stupid. Edward's gone. Yeah. yeah. For like the whole fucking movie. Well, yeah. for a lot of it. Two. But that's that's most of it. Okay. I think that's it's like the huge middle portion. Yeah, like yeah. The, and and yeah. so she starts having visions 
of Ghost Edward. And the first time it happened, <laughs> <laughs> the reaction I laughed so hard. Yeah, it's that pretty bad. I, I spilled a drink. I yeah. had to rewind. She the the look on Kristen Stewart's face is <laughs> <laughs> the amount of takes that they must have the coverage that they had to get on this poor girl shaken and shivering like a right. little chihuahua. Yeah. To see the ghost of her boyfriend, but only when she puts herself in precarious situations. Mm -hmm. I he's just like a, forgot, though, that what, that, that what motivates Ghost yeah. Edward is a flashback of the chain gang rape scene. Yeah. Oh, that we were like, God. That like we unanimously from the first yeah, movie. Decided. Like, this is feel, not okay. I yeah. feel bad so joyously screaming, screaming chain, chain gang, gang rape. rape. Yeah. Um, <laughs> But here we are. But yeah. like that's a that's scene Twilight. that should that's never That's on the bingo happen. card. Yeah. Sorry. And this movie They said, brought it back. Remember? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> remember when we did that? <laughs> well, no, it's we're going to do it again, but add motorcycle vroom vroom. Yeah. Oh Go fast. God. Yeah. So he is a floating head. Yeah. That's my question about the CGI. Like we had we had Transformers by this point, right? <laughs> we had Jurassic so. Park 20 years earlier. Okay. Yeah. So my yeah. thing is like, Fantastic. what happened? Um, I think it's just budget, man. Like the really? it was made for fifty million, right? Wow, that's a lot of money. That's a lot of money, but, but it's not. It's, it's not? not. It's really not. I, I, I think Transformers budget, was like double that. If I'm not trying more. to think, where oh, what's a double. good ghost movie? What's a good ghost? Casper. Fuck off. <laughs> fuck off. Yeah, fuck off. Fuck off. Yeah. Fuck off. Succession, um, slaps. Succession slaps. Succession uh, slaps. What's a good ghost? Casper. Drag me to hell. Visual movie. That does ghosts well. Like, I thought I answered your question several times. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actively ignoring you. What's um, super confusing about this plot mm. line, though, is that so she's seeing visions. <laughs> it's of not a line. <laughs> this plot is like, <laughs> it's like a L. Or <laughs> like an L in, as in loss? It's, or like, yeah. it's like a, it's like Sharp a nine right. degree. Yeah. Uh, and then straight again. Okay. It's, yeah. it's, okay, so she's seeing visions of Edward every time she's doing something naughty. Naughty. Yeah. Because yeah. Edward, he's, when he goes, he goes, promise me one thing. He's daddy. You won't do anything. He protect. Yeah. Foolish. Yeah. So so every time she's like about to do something bad, she sees Edward. So she's like, okay, I'm going to just then start she becoming an adrenaline the junkie. dragon. But here's what doesn't fucking make sense. Okay, mm -hmm. Crocs. Love you slapped your Crocs on the table like, <laughs> dunk, yeah. like this point you're about to make is fucking it, valid with well, Crocs that on. That is very fashionable. Did you? <laughs> I, I don't think anybody. Yes, let's okay. pause to talk about this. I, okay. <laughs> <laughs> carry on, carry Go on. on. I, I feel like uh, we're we're overlooking the fact that Zach has been killing most outfits. Uh, no, I don't, I, I don't overlook that. I yeah. just think you're more apt to the Croc life because of what your wife does for a living. Uh, no, it's honestly, I just have decided that life's too short to have painful feet. I like that for yeah, you. No. Okay, sorry. So what yeah, did what you So when you were watching this movie, to me, I go, oh, Edward has some sort of telekinesis yeah, powers I thought that was it where too. he can, every time Bella's in danger, he's always watching and he's going to say, no, 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 no. That, that's our reading, right? Mm -hmm. But then mm -hmm. that's not. No. It's, it's not, not what him. happened. No. It's, it's not actually him because Edward thinks that she dies earlier mm -hmm. and then in like a Romeo and Juliet send up is going to go mm -hmm. life himself. Mm -hmm. So- but that's that's fucking stupid. Yeah, yeah. That, like I said, that it wasn't a well done, and it also wasn't very well explained in the books because I remember feeling that way too, being like, okay, wait, is she having some sort of psychosis <laughs> mania? Like, are we worried about her? Is this part of her depression popping out, or is he communicating with her? And it is, in fact, that it was just bad CGI. It uh yeah it was it was bad CGI but those big ass dogs good CGI great CGI amazing the CGI eyes. I thought that the, <laughs> the dog playing Jacob <laughs> was better <laughs> it was a better actor don't say than it. Taylor Lautner don't himself. say it <laughs> the emotion in his the eyes emotion those in were his eyes because when he walks fast he's like <laughs> I was like. <laughs> I was like, pull that shit off, dog. <laughs> oh, that hurts so bad. That's what the that's what the wolf was basically saying when he looked at Bella and was like, "It me, it me." You recognize me? Um, can I also point out a funny moment that uh, you guys might have not picked up on? But um, Jacob calls his motorcycle Loka? the rabbit. Oh. And he asks Bella if she wants to come ride the rabbit. And oh, wow. she goes, is it really fast? And he's like, yeah. And I was like, is no one seeing this? I thought it was a dick joke too. Yeah. 
There's some good dialogue in this movie. Yeah. Uh, there's there's one after Jacob reveals is revealed, like Bella knows about werewolves. He goes, I guess the wolf's out of the bag. <laughs> I'm a full on Twy Hard now. Yeah. I wrote in all caps, I'm in. Yeah. Wherever this series wants to take me, I'm in. Um, you want to hear my yes. yeah. uh, all caps moment? Oh, God. Jacob, shred it up. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> it is jarring. <laughs> it's jarring. Um, and he's this, got that fresh ink. The yeah. Whole movie. yeah. Oh, that soundtrack, though. It's a good. It's it's a great, no, uh, it's an excellent it's good, soundtrack. Excellent. Soundtrack is for. Yeah. It, that it, the All original emotions, songs for the movie. Right. Yeah, and they are still circulating on TikTok to this day. Fantastic. That, I mean, like, the the movie brought these songs yeah. it, okay, into so, the fold. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry to, to jump to a different thing. No, please do. That's the show. I, I <laughs> like, seeing Kristen Stewart act mm. in this makes me so much more upset that that's the character that she's playing because it's the same. If you take that same acting to Adventureland, you're like, mm -hmm. oh, this is the scariest yes. human alive. Yeah. I am so intimidated yeah. by her. This is fantastic. Yeah, and but, apparently she's really good in that Diana movie, Spencer, uh -huh. too. Yeah, she's, she knows she's what she's going doing. To she's really good. Yeah. She may win. Yeah. Yeah. It's crazy. She, she's really good, but I do feel like she's still miscast. Yeah. Like, it just doesn't. You know who would have played this better? Anna, Anna Kendrick. Kendrick. <laughs> <laughs> Anna Kendrick. And we got you a little dose is. of Anna Kay. She's we, so good. Is she, she in a lot of screen too? time? She, she did not week? have a lot of screen time. She had like one but line, But she made it count. Yes, she And did. you know what? Actually, yep. she didn't even have that line. She improvised that line. She, of course, of course she, she, she fucking did. She fucking killed it. Yeah. Our girl. My girl, I wanted to Kay. see. I don't want to hear her sing in a shower. <laughs> That's all I wanted. Yeah. With that steam. Yeah. Mm. I'm bulletproof. Yeah. Nothing to lose. There you go. I'm still Fire waiting for her to find out about them and go, wait, what? You're a vampire? Uh, someday. She would have been a better one. Someday. Can I give a guilt when Kristen Stewart throws that pizza across the room and then it <laughs> turns into a wrench? Do you guys remember that Wait, moment? Wow. When her and Jacob are fixing the, she threw, what? the... They're fixing up the bike together. Yeah. And it's supposed yeah. to be a montage of like them over time. Yeah. And she goes to like pay for pizza and she like opens the box and like takes a slice of pizza and fucking chucks it across the room as if he, she's passing a slice of pizza to Jacob. But then he catches it as a wrench and starts fixing the bike. And I was like, who would throw... Who would disc toss yeah. frisbee pizza? Pizza across the room. It sounds like a cool transition. Yeah, me. it does. Sounds... It was not. I was like, oh, and then I shrieked, and then it landed as a wrench, and I was like, whoo, that would have burned his fucking hand. <laughs> well, he's always hot, so he could catch it. Damn, you know what? He, he could catch it. But I mean, and also, did thing. she know he was a dog at that point? Because no. that is how you give dogs treats. It is. <laughs> she. She. I, threw if, this thing across if, the room. If he would have caught it with his mouth, that would have been yeah. nice and then he goes, foreshadowing. Oh, oh yeah. shit. Okay, I got something to tell you. <laughs> one one pleasure, although you did just say that line of dialogue, they didn't lean into uh, the dog jokes of it all yeah. at all. Because they're not which dogs. Is, they're, they're, not, they're wolves, but they Show like, you know, respect. like- you know, take the dog out oh, or whatever. He all does say stuff. he starts following him around like a little puppy, that, which yeah. you mm -hmm. only catch that if you know that it's because they're about to turn into a dog. Yeah. But like, you know, in that scene of like catching things with his mouth, doing like weird things, like he he's becoming a wolf and he's like scratching himself behind the ear, <laughs> like doing like dumb no, shit like that. No, he didn't know. He didn't know he was about to become a wolf. Oh, That's what's know. crazy. Is right. like, no, but I just mean like in the transitionary yeah. period where so it's the like lore, the lore is what that like you get sick, the fever comes, but and only then you, if a vampire triggers it. No, it's uh, it's it's in your genes, right? But it's, it's like, in your DNA. It's it's a late, no, it's a puberty thing. It, oh, I, I I thought it was like no. A he says gene. first the vampires come, yeah. then the fever hits or whatever. But it's like he, it's like a puberty thing. That's exciting. Yeah, that's My why he, looked, so he, <laughs> he also didn't look like he was 16. <laughs> and then he acted like he was 16. And then I was like, oh, this person is 16. <laughs> are, do we uh, all agree with my reading that Jacob's story is a metaphor for being a closeted teen? What? Did you not did you not get that watching this movie? When also you said that as if you've said that before. What no, the fuck are no, you talking is, about? Okay, well then let me introduce okay. my yeah. reading Here we okay. go. that Jacob is a closeted gay man Let's in this right. movie. Because he, I mean, first of all, He's running around shirtless with boys in the woods. I mean, hello. Yeah. Hello, y'all are touching each other's dicks for sure. <laughs> yeah, and they're always wrestling. Mm -hmm. I'm, I um, know I, no, I think that this is like a weird Christian 
uh, I think this is like a weird Christian uh, franchise where vampires are a metaphor for giving into the sin of sex and like oh if you if you give into the sin of sex you're going to become a monster uh-huh. and yeah. we can't have that uh, Jacob is for being closeted right it's and this is that's the other ungodly thing okay. like premarital sex and homosexual thoughts yeah can't um, be gay can't he, fuck he has a speech where he goes I was born this way I can't help it and then she goes it's not what you are it's what you do what the fuck is that yeah yeah that feels pretty Pretty it's like being gay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it's apt that I'm wearing this shirt that's a super, super gay. Super gay. <laughs> um, I also like just the whole relationship got more creepy to me this time between yeah. all of them. Yeah. Between like, everybody. Ed- yeah. So Edward is an old man. Right. Yeah. Even who cares what body he's in? He's 109. Yeah. yeah. It's a predatory relationship. Yeah. 100%. And a real predatory relationship where he makes Bella feel like garbage. Uh-huh. Makes her constantly, she says like how Gas unworthy she yeah. is. Yeah. Um, Jacob Super emotionally controlling. Yeah, that's not cool. Yeah, this is just setting a really bad blueprint. And then they for both the abandon her. And they yeah. all abandon her. Yeah. yeah, like you guys, we cannot blame Belle. This is not her fault that she acts like a fucking chihuahua, shaking chihuahua all the time. Wouldn't you, if your owners were like, ah, and then like kicked you outside, and they were like, come back inside. All right, I forgive well, it just makes That's me sad fair. the young girls watching this too. Like this yeah. is not setting good expectations I, for I adult said that, romance. Um, she has been responsible for ninety percent of dramatic white women. <laughs> like, like <laughs> truly, Damn. truly, like just fucking. I'm gonna jump off a bridge if you don't yep. fucking come to my house yep. right now or oh, something. Yeah. It's like whoa, whoa. What? How did That's this even hormones, come about? baby? Is it? Yeah. Oh, God. That's a good twist that they did do. You didn't see that, did you? Kristen Stewart's character in this is the type of person who would be at a grocery store and like, if they don't have the t- the flavor she wants, she'd be like, I'm filming and I'm calling the police. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> 100, yeah. Very, very apt description. Can we talk about the Volturi? Oh my God, yes, please. Okay, yeah. Can we talk about the Twilight 2.5? Because Fuck I feel like that was a, a wholly different movie. Okay. It is insane that, so so I watched this in two parts I had to, and where I paused and where I started again, I'm like, this is a, this is a new plot. Did I, yeah, did this I make is, it to did the I, third did one? Did I accidentally go to the next movie? <laughs> That's what, what the I third thought. one's about. I'm sure it is, but why are we starting it halfway through this movie? No, 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 two thirds. <laughs> two thirds, yeah, through this movie to the point where you completely abandon a, a whole plot line yeah. and was just like, no, 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 fuck that. We gotta, we gotta set up the next movie. Yeah. So basically Jacob answers the phone. It's Edward. Edwards thinks that Belle is unalived herself, but she was really just cliff jumping like crazy teens do in Hawaii, Seattle, question mark. And then <laughs> he's like, oh, okay, well I'm going to go show myself to the Volturi then. Cause I want to die. Cause you're died. And then they go down on a plane and it's a montage shot of a plane going through a sky. And then all of a sudden they're like at the Vatican question mark. And there's a festival happening. That was a long establishing shot of a, yes. of a plane taking off. Yes. Everything. I was like, it, come on. But we Derek, don't... did you like that shot of that fucking hot yellow car yeah. racing through the street? Yeah. Vroom, vroom. Vroom, vroom. What kind of car was it? It's a Porsche. Oh, wow. yeah. And she had her hand on the joystick and she was changing the, the joystick. Uh, going vroom, vroom. Vroom, beep, vroom. Beep. Room, and room. then she gets there just in the nick of time before he sparkles himself to death. Which yeah. is, okay, there's so much that that just was infuriating about this. So one, he calls and Jacob picks up the phone and then hangs up. And that is the mis- Bill is standing right there. Yeah. And because yeah. of that, this man is now about to have vampires rip his body to shred. He says he's planning a funeral, but he doesn't realize that it's j- he thinks That's he means just so No, fucking it's lazy. for the guy that had the heart attack. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's just fucking rude of Jacob. He knows yeah. what he did. But then Edward's plan is I'm going to step into the sun and show everyone that I have sparkly skin. Therefore, no one would, they have to. N- no would, one would be like, oh, what, what's going on? Oh, this is a vampire. I'd just be like, oh, that's crazy that you did this for this festival. I would say, look at that hot, fabulous man. I'd right. be like, what kind of eczema so do you have? Yeah. 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 How did I wouldn't you be get- like vampires. Yeah. It was like... How did you get on Euphoria? Yeah, I'd be like, this is just like another day in WeHo. I'd right. be like, what festival outfit is this, sir? Sick, man. Yeah, but that Volturi man, their eyes hate it. are very Oh, rad. my God, and Dakota Johnson. <laughs> Dakota Johnson just comes what? out of no, fucking... Dakota, Dakota, Dakota Fanning. Fanning. Sorry, Dakota, Dakota Fanning. Fanning. <laughs> you guys are still stuck on Fifty Shades. Yeah. I actually, Dakota my preferred... Fan, my deferred 
preferred, preferred Dakota. Dakota. Yeah, same. Dakota Fanning comes out of nowhere yes. is a badass. Yeah. yeah. I'm just like, what is happening? I, the How main she guy get, looks like something off of what we do in the shadows. Yeah. He, he, he does great. not belong in that. Yeah. That Th- that's why it, it, it turned into a comedy. Yeah. I was, I was just like, like, all right, sir, well, you goofy looking motherfucker. Yeah. And I think that what we do in the shadows is doing it's, vampire comedy so hard yeah. to where every time I see a vampire now, I'm like, yeah. oh, where's the jokes? It, honestly, if you like Twilight, go watch what we do in the show. Oh my God, you'd love it. You'll love it. It's the greatest, it's the greatest it. yeah. It's so right funny. Now. The best. But, uh, I, I, I do wonder though, like did this movie satisfy what Twihards wanted, which right? Was because I hope. A love triangle, yes. uh, Edward Bella time. Yes. This becomes like racing the clock action movie at the end. Yeah. And, and I can see where the lore is going. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, is that what, is that what we wanted? But it, oh, okay. So like, I think that the That's reason it why- brought him back together. Yeah, but in romance movies, um, the running to the gate at the airport Mm. works because it's short, Mm. right? She did that (laughs) shit for 12 hours. Damn. A flight from Seattle to Italy. Italy is like 12 a to lot 10 of hours. Money. That's a lot of money. She probably had a layover in Switzerland yep. to go to fucking Italy. And, London and, maybe. Yeah, in yep. London. And yep. then now she's running and you, we're assuming that she just made it in time. It's very convenient. It's, it's This movie convenient. also posits a universe in which vampires have passports. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Well, <laughs> come on. Yeah. Of course they do. They're 109 years old. You don't think that the, the ticketer would be like, and your birthday was 1842. No, they met <laughs> someone on the dark web and they got, they figured it out. They're rich. That's and, fair. You know. Yeah. If, if, if Jason Bourne can have five, this person can yeah, have one absolutely. password. I think that the thing that hurt me the most watching this, there just wasn't enough baseball. It wasn't about baseball. <laughs> I fucking hate it, Since you. they love baseball all the time. They love it so much. There I was saw open no baseball. fields and, and running. So much opportunity for baseball. Yeah. Oh my God. Every time Taylor Lautner jogged away, <laughs> I fucking- An angel got la- his wings? I, no, I laughed so hard. Yeah. It was like, oh, my, is he jogging again? <laughs> <laughs> Man, how do you think he stays so fit? That's true. It's almost like he is working out constantly. I mean, imagine his, his macros and micros when he oh was filming God. that. Yeah, poor guy. I did like the Voltaire action scenes, though. I thought they were cool. Yeah, I did also notice that they were all being pulled on strings. Like, I think they've really upped the game of what it looks like for someone being flown through the air, you know, since then. Yeah. But I believed it. Stones were cracking. Dust was falling. That's, yeah. Bongs were binging. Was there a, uh, okay, so. <laughs> Bing bong. There, there's, nice. this, there's this whole thing with like vampires having powers and, and all of this stuff where it's just like this one can say pain and you feel pain mm-hmm. and, and this one can see touch future. you, see mm-hmm. the future. This one can touch you and you turn into like you Dome. decay. Yeah. Like it was that what mm-hmm. it what if? it's It's varied. Okay. It's just like what we do in the shadows, right? Don't they all have different powers? Colin's like a vampire energy He's vampire. He's an en- energy vampire, but they're like different types of vampires, mm. not like different powers, really. Mm. Yeah, they all have, it's like you snooze, you lose. Yeah. If you get a sucky one, yeah. like x-ray vision or something. Right. So they say that Edward has to stay around because he's too valuable with his mind reading abilities. Yeah. But then they say in order to for us not to kill you, you have to turn her into a vampire. Because she's so fun to be around. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it was. Because they can't read her mind and they're like, ah, interesting, very special. Yeah, it does though, like it posits that vampire. Bella is special and no she one is. watching this movie believes that. No, <laughs> no, because you guys, right. your powers don't work on her. Like that. She really is like the best description of what it feels like to be depressed. Like oh, when I'm trying to explain Bella. depression, it's just like, I can't muster up any like joy in my voice above this one note. And I just, I keep shaking my head. Like nothing seems right. And yeah. I just, I okay. just short of breath. And so this is, okay. This is, <laughs> this is going back to my, dis- uh, my ups, my anger with the film industry and their constant disrespect of animation. <laughs> so, okay. So the, if this movie is an allegory for depression and how hard mm-hmm. things uh, get mm-hmm. during tough times mm-hmm. and how you get depressed, mm-hmm. nothing has even come close to how hard 
Bojack Horseman hits you with depression. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. No, that you have, show no, you, gives you, me so much anxiety. It gives you anxiety. I can't watch it because I'm like, no, I'm already here. <laughs> I know. See, the fact that you're laughing, the fact yeah. that you're laughing is what I'm fucking talking about. <laughs> that I am truly it's comparing. So right. I'm truly comparing a show about a horse. Yeah. Talking. Yeah. To vampires. To vampires and something that is that is quote unquote real. Or okay, whatever. but again, you gotta think of you think of the context hormones teens like this girl literally one of her lines is what you're talking about my my soul take it i don't want it without yeah. you i can't flick my bean to a cartoon horse <laughs> 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 you can't you can you can figure out a way <laughs> you can't <laughs> i'm terrified for that sound clip to be uh, uh, I, I love it <laughs> on the sound yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that's Boop. just a button we press all next season okay i can't flick my bean to a cartoon horse <laughs> oh my god I, I uh there's one scene that i think we would be remiss to not talk about but i don't know how to talk about it just say your truth it's it's <laughs> the the rain scene between taylor lautner and Kristen stewart where he should have been steaming yeah. where he should have been steaming it is like a hot potato. Mm -hmm. Not just some of, I don't want to call it the worst acting I've ever seen oh because the God. dialogue. I was you, in it. You were in it? I was yes. in it too. The dialogue yeah. is <laughs> incomprehensible. Yeah. I do. Can we get, I, we've done a recreation of that scene before as the Try Guys. And oh. I remember reading the script and I'm like, did you take lines out? <laughs> it's like, it just, it there, just he's out. just it? saying words. Yeah. And I, I'm no good. Yeah. Let me see if I can find it. It's just like call and re it's not even call and response. It's just maybe they were really that. listening to each other. They got so into the scene that they forgot their lines. Oh no, there's no way that the crew was watching this and being like, oh, I love that. They're like, oh, just fuck come this. on. Fuck is this bullshit? I don't believe that at all. You ever been on a crew? I, I've you not. Been on set and I've been, like, been on set and I've, and I've seen them doze off. <laughs> like I've seen them. Yeah, no, like, they're not. Knowing how uh, cool, sure. knowing now uh -huh. how yeah. cool Kristen Stewart and Robert Pattinson are, I fully believe that they were fucking around with us. On oh, some yeah. Because like, there's that scene where it's like, I don't want you to come. I want to come. You can't come. Like, they fucking you know what they're doing me. there. Yeah. Uh, well, we have a lot of thoughts, but you know who has a lot of thoughts? Famed Twihard, Alexandra Herring. Alexandra, come on yeah. in. This is our first time having like a... Uh, uh, like an end of the episode guest. Yeah, somebody yeah. bring the uh, the microphone over. What's up, Alexandria? Hey guys. Okay, so we've been talking a lot about this movie, New Moon. I, we mm -hmm. were texting as we were watching last night, and she was able to predict <laughs> where I was in the movie at all oh times. Oh wow! Um, can you you are a Twihard? Oh yeah. Team Jacob or Team Edward? Team Edward at the time. Yeah. Team uh, no one now. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Team no one. Everyone's toxic. They're no one toxic. would make a good partner. Yeah. We know. We know. Yeah. <laughs> We know. So what did this what did this franchise this mean to you as a kid? Loyal. Oh, everything. Or kid, teen. So I didn't know about the books. I barely knew about the movie. My girlfriend at the time was like, hey, come watch this like vampire movie with me. <laughs> so I did. I watched the first one, fell in love with it. Yeah. Proceeded Little to read Alexander all in the theater four going, books. oh my God. <laughs> yeah. This is what love is. Yeah. As a teenager who had like barely had a boyfriend, oh, yeah. I fell in love when I watched oh, the yeah. movie. Yeah. And so I watched the movie. Went back to her house, took all of her books, read it over yep. Thanksgiving weekend. Yep. Wow. Um, oh my God. That's I like me in the Hunger love, Games. Wow. Yeah. So no it's, shit. Yeah, we, oh my God. I fucking ate that shit up. <laughs> Damn. We should do one of the Hunger Games. I had no idea. Oh, that'd be fun. Yeah. Please. Uh, but yeah, so I like experienced love for the first time <gasps> through these books. Wow. Um, read all of the books and then went to like every midnight showing after that. And I was so crazy. I would read like book one, two, three, four. When four was done, I would go back to one and start reading it over again, like how no did, breaks. How did actual love stand up to that for yeah. you? Um, well, I was like pretty bummed out at the time that <laughs> even when I found love, I was gonna die eventually. Oh, and so it still no. didn't hold up to the so movie. So you were trying to become a vampire. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh We no. actually, we forgot to talk about in this movie, the most insane plot line mm. is that Kristen Stewart keeps seeing herself as an old woman. Oh yeah. And mm. as an 18 year old is like, mm. Ugh, I'm so old. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah, that's a crazy. Like, was that an anxiety? Because also, 
Mm. So is that an anxiety they won't yet they won't, that young women have? Mm. But also that is a fucked up plot line in a society that values mm. youth in women mm. and says once you get old you are no longer sexually desirable. Right. Oh yeah. And yeah. like that her as an eighteen year old, she's mm. already at her sexual zenith. They, well the vampire to be discarded. Who, who had, you know, immortality is just like, nah man, I'm still gonna stick beside you. It's gonna be amazing. I'm gonna still stick you, is what he was telling her. <laughs> yeah. They don't even play it as much as she talks about it in the books. In the books, it's like a never ending thing about her age. Oh yeah. And like she's her constantly being stressed old. out about it. She's like asking him to turn her into a vampire, like page one. Yeah. yeah. So like 17 year old me, I was like, I have one more year left of my youth. Oh, oh my no God. Time. God. This franchise. Twilight At 31, I'm still like, I'm women. a baby. I don't know what I'm doing. What? I can't even pay taxes. I pay my taxes. I pay them. Are you sure? <laughs> it feels like you're not sure. <laughs> Ding. Pay them enough. Oh, okay. Yeah, I pay enough. I yeah. pay enough of the taxes. Yeah. What questions do we have for Alexandria? Um, the, uh, how, why did Jacob suddenly become hot? Like, what happened? Did he just- Like, in real life, what happened or in the movie? Oh, in oh. real life. You can oh, tell. Oh, in real life, he was going to lose the role <gasps> because he was a scrawny little kid and he was no like, way. he's kind of a shorter guy. This was yeah. one of my and fun so, facts. And so, yeah, so he was going to lose the role and he was like, I need to put on a lot of weight and become a hot guy in six months. So that's what he did. Oh my god. He was in gonna six lose months? The it was something role? crazy because he, they he shot gained... New Moon like the year after Twilight came out. Like it was a really quick turnaround. Yeah. Like and they I... were gonna try and replace him and you don't think we'd notice? Yeah, this guy yeah. Michael Copan, apparently. Copan. He was on an episode <laughs> of Keeping Up with the Kardashians. He took Kim Kardashian out on a date. What? Wow. Wow. I wonder how Pete Davidson feels about that. <laughs> Dog, can I just for the record state that there is nothing that makes me happier oh, really? than them being together. They do look adorable. They fucking work, <laughs> man. Yeah, I'm kind of adorable. into it. I'm so into I, it. I was like, at first I was like, man, fucking, how is he doing this? And then I saw them at the picture of them yes. in the car and how much she's laughing and how that like, him there doing is nothing. Yeah, she needs someone easy a and fun. Yeah. yeah, he's just a, yeah. You know, he seems like a dork. Yeah, that's yeah, but he's got a big schlong and he's super funny, and that's yeah. all. That's all. That's I mean. need. <laughs> and he's tall. See ya. Make me laugh. Make me moan. That's all I need. Make, <laughs> me laugh, make me moan. Did you see that he and Machine Gun Kelly are like the new faces of Calvin Klein? Yeah, they're like best. I see them all the time. Yeah, it's really funny. I'm happy for them. The they Edward just hype each Jacob other up. We generation. talk about Megan Fox on this episode, on this podcast, as often as we possibly can. As we should. Okay, so you were Team Edward, mm -hmm. but was Jacob hot? Jacob was hot, but even at the time, I was like, Jacob's just getting in the way. He needs oh, to let true love damn. go forward. That's but fucking crazy. He was crazy. in the way. Because I saw it as, man, look at this poor, sad sap. He yeah, can't even get sad. the girl of his dreams because she likes an immortal person. Or yeah. like, it always, it watching this brought me back to like, middle school getting friend zoned getting friend zoned <laughs> with abs no not with abs but just getting friend Eric zoned has abs. yeah he's got abs like are you like major. a ripped seventh yes. grader i was like a ripped seventh yeah. grader and a ripped adult huge. right now no, not at all Go walk into him see what see what walk in him. Yeah. Gonna he's gonna be on tv having a sex scene with a chain on no, that's, oh. that's, i'm very excited about that I'm gonna, <laughs> i will say i'm, I'm very gonna excited cover about this that. entire office in there <laughs> gonna fire your brand. entire office what about you guys who's team edward who's Team Jacob. I'm Team Edward because I'm an emotional motherfucker, and like your words, you, he just gets me with the. You need the words. Yeah. I need the words. The looks. I was like, I was kind of like, yeah. See, but is I he did, funny? So I don't understand. <laughs> Does he have a long schlock? This is so weird. I feel like as dudes, we're taught to like get be the red dabs, be the Jacob. That's the male then, gaze. Yeah, I guess it is the male gaze. Honestly, women don't need that. No, don't want it I just at all. told you what I needed. The male gaze is like what <laughs> men think is hot. Yeah. We yeah. think Chris yeah. Hemsworth. Is hot. Yeah. yeah. Well, he is. That's the exception. Yeah. He is fucking he is hot, hot. Yeah. and he's sweet and he's kind. <laughs> he's perfect. He's pretty perfect. He's the hottest Chris. <laughs> but like, yeah, Pete Davidson is actually a really good example of it. I think he's like breaking and like Travis Barker, another good example yeah. of it. Like a lot of these like scrawny dudes. Maybe he's a sack corn fellow than Garth Bernard. Well, yeah, I mean, yeah. we'll I'm get there. <laughs> it, it, we'll get there. I don't know anything. It's about all poetry, cyclical. We'll break it down. I, I dress really cool. You guys are talking about that earlier. Yeah. So. yeah. Um, we'll get him. Mm. Uh, I really like wish that I could go back in time because I can only imagine this like the screams at the midnight mm -hmm. showing. Oh, I oh can my feel God. them now. <laughs> <laughs> it gives me chills. <laughs> it was crazy. It was like you 
it was like a, a concert opening or something. Yeah. Like wow. you got to the theater at like 10 o'clock, mm-hmm. you camped out because back Whoa. in the day you couldn't choose your seats. Right. Oh, and so yeah. you brought snacks, you brought a chair, yep. you got there early to get a good seat. You and then you up. just, you dressed up mm-hmm. in all of your merch or mm-hmm. like the characters. Yep. Yeah. And it was just this communal, like, it's like if you go to a Harry Styles concert and everyone's friends automatically, you're all here for yeah. like this one person. Oh, it like, was the same thing. You were like, we all believe in love. We're all here yeah. for Edward. That's exactly how I felt when I watched Dark Knight. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, being honest, like, being truthfully honest, everybody was dressed up and I was like, and, like sitting in a line and it just felt great. Yeah. Can I tell you, funny, I'm going to uh, transition us lightly Some into fun, fun facts. facts. This movie broke the record <gasps> for the biggest one day gross in the US with $72.7 million. Whoa. Wow. Beating the former record holder, The Dark Knight. Oh, oh fuck. my God. I knew I was mad at this movie for, for a, a reason. reason. It was like a subconscious tingle. You didn't realize why yeah. it took your fave at the spot. I bet you you got some fun facts for us. I bet you got better ones than us. But is there anything about mm-hmm. this movie that you think we should be talking about? Oof. Or things That's that we should know? That is a lot of pressure. To come up with like quizzical fun facts? Either, either. A fun fact or a thing that we should have should discuss. I'm curious how you all felt about the movie in general since I missed the first part oh, of the yeah. podcast. But I guess I we'll loved go from it. There. You loved I it. I fucking do you love it. Love it. <laughs> <laughs> it, I, it was. I will say it's, it's not as good as Twilight, right? It's oh, not as good as the first movie. I disagree. I, I disagree. Really? I actually I think, think the second the better one's better. Version. Oh, I, I think love the, the first third one. one's better than the second. Oh, I can't wait. The, I think it's better the directed. Third one? Yeah, it has no baseball, which is sad. Yeah, it's but I think that Doggies. this is one of the woof, woof. supremely sublime camp movies that exist. Mm-hmm. Like if you watch this through the lens of getting this high is, with your friends right. and howling at the screen, I don't think that there's some. <laughs> oh, oh, I guess Not I werewolves. do have a fun fact. So, oh, Catherine Hardwick, the director of Twilight, the first movie, was supposed to do New Moon. And apparently the production and edit timeline was so fast, she turned it down. She was just like, I can't do this creative justice. And that's how they got their their director that they ended up with, I think Chris Weiss. Yeah, so Chris Chris Weiss directed this movie and his previous credits, he did the Golden Compass right before this, that's how I got this job. But he made two of my favorite movies, not favorite, favorite. About a Boy and Down to Earth starring Chris Rock. I fucking love both of those. And this, and this. And he did this as a favor. As a favor. It was like the EP or like someone was like scrambling for a director and he's buddies with Chris and Holy asked shit. him to do That's it. That's a and pretty big it. favor to do <laughs> Hey, for can you pal. do me a favor and make millions of dollars? Can you <laughs> right. direct New Moon as a favor? And get royalty checks for the rest of your goddamn life. That's a pretty fun fact. You guys will see though. So Twilight was very blue and gray. Yeah. It just yeah. gets more and more orange as yeah. the series goes yeah. on. That was a bit, I did write that down as a, as a pleasure that I thought it was really beautifully shot. All right. I thought it was beautifully shot. Yeah. It was very pretty. I do think that because it follows the same plot points and all that stuff, I do think that this was a better produced version of the original. Wow. There's a positive. Technically, it is a better movie. (laughs) They had a lot more money. Yeah, I'm sure. It's a better movie with a less convincing love lead. Yeah. (laughs) How dare you? I do have to say, so at the beginning of the movie, you know where... After Edward breaks up with her and they have that panning or like the shot that's yes, going around the her. window. Yes. Um, so in the book, when I read this for the first time, Edward breaks up with her and then she's in the forest and like it's the next day or whatever. And then you turn the page and it's just months. It's yeah. like February, March, oh, April. Oh, that's and the, cool. when I was reading it, the tears were just streaming oh. down my face. Oh. I was like already heartbroken from the oh. breakup. And now I'm like, where is You're he? Like, Where what is do you he? mean? <laughs> what do you awful. mean? Oh, that that's is a, yeah. that is a good surprise where he's just like, oh, we thought that this was gonna last for like a week or something yeah. like yeah. that. And then seeing the months go by, I was like, yeah. oh, oh fuck. And then even there's gonna be an again. aftermath, but yeah. she's just abandoned. Yeah. yeah. That's Honestly, crazy. that's literature right there. Yeah. Okay. That's art. Yeah. That's cinema. If you liked the movies, you should read the books. Guys. Should we do a, a an episode, a book club, a book club episode? Listen, no nah, man, I'm still making my way through fucking Dune, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I'm uh, reading all the light we cannot see right now. Nice, it's a very good one. Uh, this is the time where we need to decide: is this movie a pleasure, a guilty pleasure, or just plain guilty? Our time to tell the people: should they see this movie? I'm going with pleasure. Pleasure, pure. Wow. I'm going with abandon all. Bullshitty, snooty hoot toot, half loot and fucking movie. <laughs> I'm so fucking film, bro. 
just go enjoy it and you're gonna laugh and you're gonna cry and you're gonna love it. It's a guilty pleasure. Okay. It's a guilty pleasure. I mean, it's, it's both y'all? But it yeah. is so delightfully a guilty pleasure. Yeah. Like yeah, yeah. you're watching a man who never should have been given a lead role trying to be a romantic lead, and I love it. And he calls someone a marshmallow, and it's not intimidating. Wow. And I. This, but he says it like marshmallow. 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 <laughs> this is genuinely, though, I say it's a guilty pleasure. This is one of my new favorite movies. Yes. Uh, <laughs> wow, yeah, I am, baby. I, so exciting. It was so fun. I yeah. want to watch, and I'm mad that I watched it alone. We got to watch, watch this, some together. 100%. Next time, let's schedule so that we come here. Watch it on this and TV. And then we record. Easy, done. Okay, what's next week's movie? Uh, Eclipse. <laughs> <laughs> well, I want to know for you. Guilty pleasure or pleasure or guilt? As an adult I'd now, all these years later. As an adult, oh. I'd say it's pleasure Hell because yeah. it's so nostalgic. Yeah. yeah, and if you want to feel all your feelings, heartbreak, yes. love, yes. and yes. joy, this is a good it. breakup movie. She gets yeah. it. Yeah. As also as someone who had never gone through a real breakup before, I was so heartbreaking. Yeah, yeah. like it was my first heartbreak. Yeah, yeah. truly. Uh, next week is our final episode of the season. <gasps> we we teased you a couple weeks ago oh that we were gonna do God. Pitch Perfect three. But now we're doing DIY. 500 Days of Summer. No, we're nice. <laughs> uh, so we're finally doing that. Lord DIY will be joining Back. us. We're skipping two. Fuck it. We're going right to the third. Pitch uh, Perfect 3. I do love 500 Days of Summer. I do too. That's a good movie. Oh, I good still want to sit on benches. Yeah. I love benches. Uh, I'm at Corn Day and all the things. I'm at Kelsey Dare and all the things. I'm Gary Bernard and all the things. You get to say, to say, say Where can your handle. You? Oh, at AA Hearing. Wow. What's the show called? Uh, single Drunk Female. On Freeform, January 21st. Tw Woo. Yeah, 20th. Oh. <laughs> but maybe watch it on the 21st. Yeah, maybe watch I'll it. Probably watch next it on day the on Hulu. First. Yeah. <laughs> It'll be on no, Hulu we're having a day. screening party. I hope. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Until next time. Stay guilty, whores. Stay guilty, whores.